Okay, so a bit of bad news. I've been looking around and I simply cannot find the way to initiate the whole Tuco event. So I actually went around to different areas trying to find out what I can do, and I can actually start other... Well, I don't know what exactly you want to call them, but the other events. So, Cypress Flats is where you'll find Scorpion Saint. If you go to Swellsville and take the Snake River, you will go up against Burning Crow. And Fort Chattahassee should be where Stampede Sally is. So we just took out the little brother, let's go for the sister, I'd say. I don't know if there's some sort of restriction where Tuco has to be one of the last ones you do, or if you have to get something from somewhere else to tell you to come here, but as is, there's just nothing we can do here at the moment. And based on what you've seen, hopefully you can tell, yeah, this place is crawling with his guys, so this is the right place. Problem is where the trigger lies. Change difficulty. Now that I think about it, there is a difficulty setting in the game, isn't there? What are we even playing it on? Norm. Or yeah, it's normal. This game is too hard, I quit. No, just kidding, don't quit, please. If you think the game is too hard or too easy, you can change the difficulty from the pause menu. Go ahead and change it to complete this challenge. But if you don't really want to change the difficulty, just change it right back, okay? So, there are some of these we should be able to do. I mean, we just took the train ride. Let's blow this old cow town. You with me? You can buy a train ticket in the train depot to go some... You can buy a train ticket at the train depot to somewhere else. Hopefully somewhere with less ugly people, am I right? Then you have to wait by the train sign outside the train depot to board the train. If you ride the train to a new town, it will complete this challenge. Choo-choo! Then we did this one with Doc. Notice a while back you had equipped a vantage that required a different kind of weapon than the one you had equipped. Some vantages require certain weapons. For example, shoot requires a small gun, while smash requires a hand weapon. Please go to your vantages and make sure that they match your current weapon. So there's a trigger if we go up. What do we have over here? Anything? And the answers are resounding no! Actually, we can peek inside and see who's all in the one person in the depot. The train's gonna be here any minute. I promise my family to bring them souvenirs from Fort Chattahassee. Do you have anything to sell me? So, that tells you that this is the only store, I guess. Even though you can't see there's a restaurant in the fort. Cree Little's no more, so Rumpkin may be a little sad. Treats. Here are a few things I found lying around. Wow, quite a bit, and there's no longer that five treat limit, I guess. So we got a bunch of shells. So I found out something while I was looking around. If you talk to Oberon at Bumblebee Creek, he will drop hints about how imbuing works, like what items actually synergize with one another, so you don't actually have to do it blind like I've been doing. And I want to talk to you. Be careful around here. We're doing training exercises. Welcome to Fort Chattahassee. Welcome to Fort Chattahassee. Whoa! Hold up. State your business, stranger. Go on, be quick about it. What are you calling strange, monkey shines? Now marble and scoot out of my way. Greetings. We got a hash with Colonel Middleton. It's concerning the Chipakwik. Hey, who's the squaw? Is she a Chipakwik? Oh boy. A prisoner, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, she's a prisoner. No, she's our friend. You don't say it. Hey, didn't I see you fellows at the circus a while back? Are we gonna stand out here talking to donkey's, hi donkey's hind legs off, or are you gonna side off and let us in? Alright, alright. In you go, sis. Colonel Milton is in his office. We're 
requested to be stationed here because I heard that there was no threat from the local Indian tribes. The aggressive Tawakins were disbanded decades ago. They told me the Chipakwa were peaceful and isolationist. I suppose I was wrong. I lost loved ones during the attack on Ashwood. My family just wants to stand around and mourn on Boot Hill, but I enlisted here at Fort Chipakwa. Fort Chipakwa? Okay, that's a big, uh, typo. This building contains the entire arsenal of Fort Chattahassee. Right now, an expert from Kickstart Creek is analyzing a new shipment of artillery. So you actually can't go to Kickstart Creek just yet. Valentine? What are you doing here? Are you here to help? Butch, did you finally decide to help us stop the Saints Little Gang? Nothing's changed for me. I swore never to wield a firearm again. I'm only here to lend my expertise to the Colonel. I've never seen artillery of this kind. That's exactly why I'm here. The Colonel asked me to inspect this shipment of experimental artillery. It was sent by Secretary Floyd himself. Why was it sent to Fort Chattahassee? When the Colonel requested additional firepower, the higher-up saw this as an opportunity to test the efficacy of secret and experimental rapid-fire artillery in development. They thought Barton County would be the best training ground given this county's ge geographical isolation. And the Chipakwa could be the targets to test your new tools of killing. Yes. If it comes to that. But I'm only here to advise. I want no part of this war. Why won't you help? but you are helping her Middleton. But her expertise you're lending will only help Middleton murder Chipakwik. You can't stand here and claim to be neutral in all this. Perhaps. But if there is to be war, then these weapons can make the conflict mercifully short rather than a drawn-out bloody engagement. This is the best we can hope for. In this prototype, William Armstrong's rifled breech-loading system has been redesigned at a heavier six-pound caliber. Killing power of such an instrument could decimate an entire battalion of soldiers. As a pacifist, I am appalled. But as a weapons craftsman, I find it elegant. I was kind of hoping there was stuff I could take in here, but it looks like it's just Butch staying around. The last time any of these troops sharpened their teeth was with the war with Mexico. We may have superior firepower, but the Chipotle have mobility, knowledge, of the terrain, and tactical sagacity. Here, the Chipakwa attacked a skin at Crazy Bone Pass. I think they was looking for the shipment of weapons we sent. Here we here sent. My nephew searches the county l alone, looking for the question boxes. I warned him it's not safe to travel alone these days. Last time any of these troops sharpened their teeth was with the more Mexico. Even if the rumors are true, the Chipakwa didn't attack Ashwood. They did hit us at Crazy Bone Pass. What have we done to provoke an attack? They were worried about the artillery. Chipakwik didn't want to hurt anybody. They were trying to intercept the weapons being brought here before they were used against them. My family has a farm in Swellsville. They thought I lacked the discipline to run a farm, so they made me join the military. So this is the colonel's office. Fought alongside Milton at the Battle of Palo Alto. Back then, he was a timid soldier. Now he's a hot-headed colonel. It was the death of his father, a little big tooth, that sent him over the edge. You? Again? Let me once again remind you that my office is in Swellsville. I came out here to treat the soldiers. And I'm a little predisposed at this moment. Fine. I'll treat you. Yeah, I'm fine. So there is a shocking lack of loot here. Hey, I know you four. You're the fellows that took down Monty Spades, ain't ya? Well, now I gotta give you something. This is recovered from Crazy Bone Pass. Take it in and maybe sell it for some extra cash, okay? Store goods. Helping out here any way I can. Dearest Hattie, I've received your loving words and I'm writing you back as requested. This may be my last correspondence for some time as I've been charged with a guarding the mountain pass for a fortnight. 
Although I willingly accept my duty, I will take with me the fond memories of your sparkling blue eyes, illuminating smile, and carefree laughter. My consuming thoughts of you could sustain my wandering mind for a hundred solitary fortnights, let alone the anticipation of the time when we can be together again. Yours truly, Lauren Shields. I shared a bunk with my brother. He was recently killed at Crazy Bone Pass during an attack by the Chipakwa Gobble Guard. I'll never forgive the Chipakwa for this. Do the Chipakwa have no honor? Two times now they have attacked civilians in unprovoked ambushes. First they decimated Nashua, then they ambushed settlers at Crazy Bone Pass who were just trying to get into Bronco County. It's sad that it's come, it's sad that it's come to this. When I first started here many years ago, I routinely visit the Chipakwa village and negotiate alliances. I even helped start a school in Silver Spring City to teach Chipakwa's children English so we could become so we could be brothers. Despite all my attempts, we are finally at war. What you're seeing now is the result of many decades of failed negotiations and alliances with the Chipakwik. There was always too much stubbornness on both sides, too much unwillingness to learn from each other. I was hoping to take my little brother to the circus, but now my time off has been declined because I have to deal with these Chipakwik. The Chipakwik cowardly attack civilians at Ashwa and Crazy Bone Pass. They wouldn't dare attack the soldiers here at Fort Chattahassee. Oh, I fry up something nice. Honey apple cake. So, this is gonna cost most of my money. Stuffed mushroom. Boost your natural durability. So I have this recipe already. So it seems like I can sell the stuff for half of what I can buy it for. I'm going to take Stuffed Mushroom, just because I think I can make more of these. Then we'll take a PBJ. Got the Lead Trumpet. Shotgun with a musical blast that made little enemies to sleep. It actually doesn't have any sort of sleep stat attached to it, though. So I think that's everyone here that I talked to. <laughs> bah. What do you mean it'll take a month to fortify that position? We ain't got that long. Sir, I mean, no sir. I mean... Go boil your shirt. You're useless. You Middleton? That's Colonel Middleton, gal. And who wants to know? We're the Boot Hill Posse. Moon Dancer? Is that you? Is this a bushwhack? Are we surrounded by Chipotle? You'll never take me alive. No, it's only me. I've left the Chipakwik so that I could stop this war. Please, Colonel Middleton, we must speak with you. If you were any other Chipakwik, I'd have you all gun-branded. But since you've come here alone, you must either be really braced up or just as equally foolhardy. Well, spit it out already. Colonel Middleton, you have to call off this war with my people. We did not attack your city of Ashwood. The Chipakwik were framed. Oh yeah, that's so? You know how many witnesses say they saw you Chipakwik riding through that town that night, setting fire and killing poor folk? Yeah, I was there. I saw him. But it wasn't no Chipakwik, Colonel. It was the Saints Little Gang in Chipakwik garb. The Saints Little Gang? You don't say. It's the truth. If you're split and fair, then why isn't Chief Flying Trout here to tell me this? And why are the Chipakwik on guard bushwhacking my... Why are the Chipakwik owl guard bushwhacking my men at Crazy Bone Pass? Clearly they're preparing for war. Clearly they want a war. They're preparing for war because you all preparing for war. If you sapheads only talked to each other, you'd see that. Talk? With the savages? You must think my brains will still leak out. My father, the great General Middleton, tried talking and peacing with the red man at the big little tooth, and all I got him was a wooden bed in the dirt. Ain't no limit to the treachery and gammon within those people. No siree. 
those weren't the Chapakwik. I don't know what happened at Big Little Tooth. Those natives were not the Chapakwik. And it's not fair to let the actions of a different group reflect on them. This war has been brewing ever since the first white settler crossed Crazy Bone Pass and planted his boots onto this land. The last in peace was a fool's dream. What we need now is a battle to settle things, otherwise this will just escalate into something bigger. And if I prolong the conflict now, it will fall on the sh shoulders of my predecessor to do something about it. Most assuredly a less capable man than I. What in tarnation? Colonel, we're under attack. I knew it. You were just trying to distract me with this talk of peace while your people ambushed the fort. Arrest these bamboozlers. Well, I reckon it's time to take them down. You Chapakwik won't get away with this. So, I have perception, I guess, so I can see what they're trying to do. So, hip shot is a pretty weak move, so I'm gonna sucker punch the dude that's gonna try to dash. Overall, it doesn't really seem like there's a power difference between shoot and sucker punch, so I'm probably gonna get rid of one once I have a better move. And that actually did a lot of damage. So, let's go for this guy. I should have early birded him, to be honest. I do remember I have that move. No, I don't think I can win up in time. So I'm waiting for Dash to expire, and then I'm going to cut into him. Okay, minecart time. Since he's dying here, let's put up Harvest. Colonel's gonna give us an earful for this. Rank C, doesn't really matter. Got some Quicksilver. And we also got the Daguerreotype, which is a type of picture, if you're not familiar. So there's nothing we can loot in here or anything. Can't check on them, can't go through their pockets. You did this. Can we fight them all? Can't let you get away. If I capture you, I'll get promoted. So we'll start off with a sucker punch. Queue up an early bird. Cancel early bird. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to build up my points and take him down when he wants to barrage. I probably should put the scope on someone since these guys are really, really annoying. Okay, so that expires, so let's early burn him. We'll sucker punch twice. We'll hit him with minecart. Set him with Tranquilize. Mm -hmm. 
Milton will never promote me now. Got PB and J. Got some slack. Uh, slapjacks. You did this. So is there actually any difference between these guys? Because you won't escape. He's planning to duck. I probably need to look into upgrading Kid's gun. If he's actually going to have something for a little while now, it may be worthwhile. So you know what, let's do this real fast. Wow. Threw everything to try and take her down. Actually, well, I got a crit on him anyway, so it doesn't really matter. If you didn't attack us, then who did? So lunch break has been added back. I really do not like that mining lantern. So these are actually all unique guys. It's kind of neat. He's going to do point blank. So I'm going to try to tranquilize him before that actually does go off. So I don't know if that counts as melee or if I can actually loop catch it. Cancel this for blast. Hit him with a minecart. And moon with the finisher. Guaranteed crit at that. You've got more combat experience than I do. So the Regency has Whip Crack now. Early Bird is now a Deluxe Vantage. Bird Nest now has Snooze, so I can heal him and then wake him up with Whistle. So we got a Whetstone and a Bean. Come on, there was someone over here. I'll make the Chipotle pay all for all the lives they've taken. I found the Chipotle. Someone give me a hand. So Bounty's not really going to do anything. I should probably just put Beagle Bay back on Kid. Try minecart, see if it gets ready in time. So you folks really weren't responsible for the attack.
a snooze and Beagle Bay. So honestly, that's probably where I need to go. You did this. We'll hit him with that for being stupid. Flawless. Oh well. Well, that did the trick. Iron ingot and a dried leaf. Why are you attacking us? If you're more responsible than who is, there's the tripler. The door to the arsenal seems to be locked right now. Hmm. How many stars are on that flag there? They gonna try to fight me too? No. So they're all up and running. Some kind of explosion blasted a hole in the wall here. Looks like the blast is from outside. Did any of you see what happened? I heard the explosion came running. Who did this? Wasn't there some strangers wandering around with the Chipakwik a while ago? Did you guys see where they went? Okay, let's see if we can loop around then. We'll go out the front door. Or not? How do we get out of here? Butch! This man is hurt. Butch! What happened to him? He was hardy as a buck moments ago. He's been shot. Fool refused to carry a gun, he must have been defenseless. Looks like he tried to move, but collapsed here. He has a key on him. I think this goes to the arsenal. Butch needs medical attention. We can't leave him here. We have to get him to a doctor. Didn't we see Doc Finch around here? I'll go find help. You go investigate who did this to Butch. What can I say? Rusty is indeed man's best friend. Ah, here's Tuco. I was wondering why we couldn't do his. Hurry up with the crates. Quit your bossing, you big-headed goonie. Or is that Gawney, or what is that supposed to be? Sally, someone's here. So keep him busy. I gotta load up on this here artillery. You're not soldiers. Who are you? I see two lovely ladies. So an introduction, then. My name is Tuco Delgado. By the way, I should point out there's six guys there. I'll talk about that in a second. Tuco Delgado, reward 3,500. Weapons trafficking, larceny, armed robbery, horse theft, and murder. So there were seven members of the Saints Little Gang, and you killed Monty in the first... Well, you didn't kill Monty, the Lions killed Monty in the first game. So then, 
is Scorpion actually in... Or not Scorpion, is Coyote actually in jail? Or are we going to have a showdown with him at Ashwood at the end? Hmm. And this money lasts my cohort, the infamous Stampede Sally. Stampede, Sally Little, reward 6,500 crimes, assault, vandalism, burglary, burglary rustling, and murder. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Surrender now, man. Just save yourself the headache. I wasn't talking to you, gringo. Can't you see through that thick mustache of yours, Tuco? That's Valentine and the Chapaka Princess. I'm pretty sure the redhead is the girl Spades warned us about. Don't know who the blonde kid is. Oh, so you're the feisty hombres that sent Monty Spades to dream the eternal dream, eh? You must know that earned you a vendetta. Monty Spades was killed by a lion, let's be honest. So he did. Fortunate to see your enemy is dead without getting blood on your hands. Would you quit flapping your gums? Just slog him already. Keep him busy while I finish up moving the cargo. With pleasure. I'll show you how I became leader of Los Ventidos Condemnos, the 22 Condemned or something. So he's going to start off with a leech bullet, and I don't have the right hat here, so this is going to be kind of a close one. <laughs> so I want to lead off with Early Bird to get a feel for how much HP he has. I do have lunch break, I guess, to try to heal someone. But I don't know if this actually heals or just gives them a uh, buff. So 21. So that means 14 was 10%. He has 140 hit points. So let's sucker punch him. I'm going to hold off on the blister. 11, that's decent. Let's try to tranquilize him. This is only work on animals. Aw, oh, man. <sighs> Block, loop catch, dash, take cover. Big damage to Doc. Anyway, let's blister him. So release the beagle. Release him again. I want to say early bird is probably still the best. Ooh, he's actually low. So we're gonna we're gonna change gears. Rosie to the rescue. That's enough. Stop messing around. Grade B, that's okay because I didn't have everything set up correctly. Where'd all the stuff go? That's enough. We gotta vamoose before Middleton finds us here. Are you going to help me then? The unrelenting beauty of these two senoritas is sapping my strength. I'm weak as a kitten. You're such a loser, Tuco. Rusty, help us. I came back to help you guys, but now I'm just in the way. At least I found a doctor for Butch. Got any treats? all gone. I see now I've been honey fogled. Foggled? I've never actually heard that term. The Chipaka created that explosion as a distraction so you four could steal all our weapons in the frustration. 
Yes, that is the way of the Red Man. They seek to eliminate our superior firepower and force us into a fair fight. Bronco County is defenseless now. Did you actually see any Chapakwik, stupid? When you investigated the source of the explosion, you didn't find any Chapakwik, did you? That's what we keep saying. The Saints Little Gang are behind all of this. Young sir, I don't see no Saints Little Gang. All I see is a Chapakwik and her traitorous chums nailed to the counter. I won't let you get away with this. And you know what? I'll just go without the proper hat. Don't underestimate them. Names like her are more devious than they look. So, I don't actually know, like, is there a good order for this? And then keep in mind, if you want to make this easy mode, by all means, just toss on Stetson, spam leadership, and so on. So, I'm going to sucker punch this guy, because I don't like the way he's waving that sword around. Okay, so I can actually abuse that. No, I can't. So let's blister him. Doc, no! So there goes leadership, I need to... I'm gonna save Beagle Bay for that. But in the meantime, we can Sucker Punch. And I'm just gonna keep going for him. Aw, oh, man. That cut is actually a nice move, it looks like. I just need to find out how to get it myself. A little early bird him. So he only has 13 left, but I don't know what he was at full. So I'm trying to save up for Avalanche. the one dude with Beagle Bay also. Anyway, we can just end this guy. We will blister the colonel. That was rude. Take that. I'm sorry, but we're not responsible. You should have listened. So, not too much for bonuses. Whetstone, music box, we got some beef stew and another whetstone. He'll be madder than an owl wet than an old wet hen when he comes to. Let's shin out. Oh, that Milton got me mad as a March hare. He's a tin horn lot, ain't he? <laughs> Not like a cow sense. Talking to him was like barking at a knot, I tell ya. My father warned me against leaving my village. Now by interfering it has only made matters worse. It's just as the medicine man prophesied. This war is inevitable. We can still find Sally and Tuco. They're out there. We can find them. Why do you think Tuco and Sally would steal those weapons? There's only five of their gang left, but they got enough firepower for an army. Los Condanos Ventidos. 
What? The Doom 22. Tuco Delgado's personal army. I've read about them in the papers. Aren't they a gang in Mexico? What do they have to do with Tuco? Not all the members of the Saints Little Gang laid low after their defeat at the battle at Smallsville. Tuco Delgado escaped to Mexico and joined up with Los Condados Ventitos. I've kept my eye on them from across the border. I reckon the weapons are for them. Wait, so you're saying that not only have we got to worry about the Saints Little Gang, but now there's another gang outlaws we got to contend with? I think you go very far. Butch, you're okay. You were pretty banged up before. I've been through worse than this and kept going. I explained the incident in Middleton. Told him that it was Tuco and Sally behind the theft. Does he believe you? I wouldn't say that. But if you go back to the fort, they will at least not attack you guys. Well, we have a few ideas. What do you think, kid? Let's search for Tuco's gain. Maybe we can find some clues back at the fort. Let's grab some shut-eye. By morning, things will have cooled down enough for us to return. After this, I'm going back to my shop in Kickstart Creek. Hope you four can do some good. Sheriff Lubbock was skeptical he could make a dent in Middleton's hard-headed thinking. Guess he was right. Anything she can cook for us? I'm looking... There's the PB&J. Ah, that's, I only have two strawberries. That sucks, man. So I can make a couple salads. Made three, oh well. Here we go, the stuffed mushroom. So I can make a few of these. I need to find out how to actually farm mushrooms, though. She has something new to say? Hey, we stood up to both Tuco Delgado and Stampede Sally. No fooling around with them. I would not say this to anyone but you, but I am somewhat relieved that those weapons were stolen. Now they cannot be used against my people. No, the Saints Little Gang has the weapons. I fear that the weapons in the hands of the Saints Little Gang has made things far worse. But as bad as the Saints Little Gang may be, they are just a handful of outlaws. They are not an army. Kid, now that we have a moment, I think we should talk about Rosie. What's wrong with Rosie? Surely you notice how she just goes in every situation half-cocked. She's picking fights before we can even get a word in. With Middleton, it was like two matches striking against each other. Tuco Delgado and Stampede Sally. Haven't seen their faces in ten years. Soldier at Fort Chattahassee are preparing for war. Once something like that's been decided, it's hard to make it undone. But she used to be one of the best gunslingers in Bronco County. Too much guilt in him now to pull a trigger. Got me some clues off behind it for Chattahassee. Tuco and Sally ain't subtle. <laughs> what in the heck? That is the ugliest vulture I've ever seen, man. He used to slingshot rocks at birds like this as a kid. Guess they held a grudge? I don't even know what that thing on the far right is. Cactupine? So a cactus porcupine? Plague bird? Dig pig. Well, they sure are imaginative, I guess. This little sucker punch that thing to start things off. Okay, time to toss out Harvest. So we're gonna blister the buzzard.
So we can hit him with Beagle. You can't even Beagle Bay them when burrowing? Wow. So it comes back out, I hope. <laughs> Bang. That's a shame, we must sometimes fight these animals. Venom gland, that's new. Two of them at that. One from the khaki pine, one from the plague bird. Lost all my perks. <laughs> Actually. Hmm. I do want to fight this bug here. No, got me from behind. Pardon me, little bugs. I didn't mean to step on you there. We can beagle bay that away, so I'm not too worried. What I am worried about is the big one over here. It's not asleep, so let's try an early bird. Eh, yeah, kid can take that. So I do want to set up Harvest before the Avalanche. Now we look for the survivors. So you... have to die. Enough creepy crawlies for one day. Got a mushroom, that's nice. That's like one of the more valuable drops I've gotten. <laughs> These birds like to pick off weak prey with toxins. Okay, they're the same thing, they just look different. Yeah, we want to beagle bait this one. Well, she should wake up right away, I think. Early bird, blister, double blister. Oh, Rosie just ended it anyway. Kid, you're looking a little green. Did you get poison?
Another venom gland. Can't tell which bird dropped what exactly. So we got another prairie dog over there. I think this is a khaki pine, isn't it? so she did take damage back from that. Pierce Shot is now a deluxe vantage. I don't even know what Pierce Shot really does. Regency is close to leveling up. We got a ton of quills there, which may be a good thing. I don't know what exactly they do. We can loop around to the front of the fort from here. May as well face it head on. Got my leg caught in a hole in the ground. Looks like it was their home. So, we will sucker punch this one. That was actually heavy damage for once. Wow. One shot, man. I was thinking about not even putting Harvest up, but why not? I make it a little bit of extra loot. Dig pigs flee via a series of complex underground tunnels. A rank. So now we have feed as a deluxe vantage. I don't even remember that move. A pair of mushrooms, nice. Let's grab some potatoes for our trouble. And we got a fossil. And we will show ourselves into the fort. So they planted some kind of a bomb here to cause some distraction. The bomb was probably Creed's handiwork. But someone had to come here to set it off. Maybe we can find some more clues around here. There are a lot of foot and hoof prints here. But they are likely from the soldiers who came to investigate the blast. There's no way to tell if any of these belong to the culprit who set off the bomb. I got a burden feeling there's another clue within arm's reach here. Let's find it. Let's keep looking at this immediate vicinity for any clues. These tracks, these are unusual. They're pointing in the wrong direction if you didn't see. You know, I've seen the tracks of every horse gate back when I was peeling Bronx. These aren't your typical walk, trot, canter, or gallop pattern. Horse might have been lame. Or could it be... What is it? Can't say yet for sure. These prints have been trampled over too much. We need to look around the area for more tracks. Gotta give my eyes more fuel to turn my brain gears. Notice the pattern and indentation for these specific prints. We need to search the area and examine tracks that look like these. These tracks aren't right. You can tell by the closeness of the four prints that look like the horse is at a gallop. Look for the right pattern as well as the indentation of the prints to match those we saw over by them. Looks like we have... Huh? Look alive, Ferris. These are the ones who clobber the colonel. So 
so I plan on examining all of these, but it looks like you get punished if you actually do. As soon as Early Bird goes off, I'll blister him. Well, let's do it twice. Take him for a ride, Moon. Still does respectable damage at this point. This is gonna hurt though. Colonel, that it wasn't us. Slatjacks got a lot of food. So this is one. Yeah, here are more of those unusual tracks. See how it's almost like a trot, but there's a deeper indentation on the left side. But I still need to see more of them. Let's keep looking. unusual tracks. See how it's almost like a trot? There's a deeper indentation on the left side? I still need to see more of them. Let's keep looking. Yeah. Here are more of those unusual tracks. See how it's almost like a trot? Still need to see more of them. Let's keep looking. Holy Ark. Priests used to divine mathematics to determine the precise arc of this bow. Hot hopscotch and horny toads. Couldn't believe it at first. But for seeing all these tracks, there ain't no denying it. You know what kind of horse made these tracks? Do I? I know the exact done type made these tracks. It was my girl Honeybell. You can identify a specific horse from the pattern of its hoofprints? I'm very impressed. Even our best Chipotle hunters and trackers cannot do that. Of course I can tell. Papa Garrett was a horse expert, you know? Taught me everything he knew when I was a wee gal. Then my brother was born, then it was all fancy dresses, tea time, and dance class. Proper lady stuff. Good thing it didn't stick, right? There I go, flattened gums like a blatherskite. Now these are hoof prints, but they weren't made by no horse tall. What then? A moose? Clever guess for a shot in the dark. Funny bell ain't no moose. But have you ever heard of a zebra? A zebra made these tracks? I am unaware of this creature as, I'm, as I am of the fearsome Blatherskite. Nah, Honey Bell ain't no zebra neither. A zonkey? It's a long story, my stomach is asking me if my throat's been cut. Let's rest and get something under our belts at the train depot, and I'll tell you the whole yarn. Fair to warn you, it's a tear squeezer. A Zorse? A horse and a zebra. Didn't know such a thing could happen. Tain't often, but it can happen. Sadly, the fool wasn't that wasn't what my papa was expecting. Didn't get the right parts from the right parent. 
could barely walk with a gate in its jeans. The only thing this beast is good for is some mild curiosity. I'm fixing it to sell her to the circus. Maybe we'll have a place for her. But I was sweet on the yearling. No, Pappy. Let me take care of her. I'll feed her, brush her, and train her right. She can be just as good as any horse. You'll see. And I did. That Zorse's unusual parentage came, gave it some disadvantages, what well, with the poor gate. But she had some benefits. Either she was strangely smart, or we just had a wrapper. Sense of smell like a bloodhound. And while she was always, while she always walked kind of funny, when she ran, she ran like a racing prong. I lost Honeybell that night I ran from Ashwood. Thought I'd never see her again. But it looks like Tuco or Sally or someone they're in cahoots with took to ride in her. Good luck to him. Honeybell's all kinds of snuffy around strangers. I'd like to see you reunite with your steed, but we have no idea where Tuco and Sally ran off to. Yeah, the tracks petered out. So now we're at a dead end again. Nothing more we can do here. We should start looking for other leads. So with that, we're going to go back to Swellsville. Wow, I only have a dollar. Well, it's a good thing we're going home. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to put a break in the video here, and then when we pick up next time, we'll see if we actually can finally find Tuco. The parrot? Uh. Strange-looking bird. It's Pickle. By golly, it is. What's Pickle doing out here anyway from doing away from the circus? Hello. It talks. Hey, there's some kind of paper attached to its foot. Rosie. For me. Let's have a look. It's a letter from Matter or McGovern. Says, Dear Rosie, Lady Lamaru bet me that Pickle could track you down anywhere in Bronco County, so if you're reading this right now, I owe her a crate of something called escargot. Snail, basically. But enough of that. Here's the situation. I got a hair in the butter, and you're the only person that can help. Just acquired a most unusual striped horse to add to my strange animal menagerie. However, she turned out to be one of the snuffiest, unruliest beasts I ever had under my tent. But if anyone can uncork this bronc, it's my old lion tamer, Rosie. So please come to the circus at Bumblebee Junction as soon as you can. Well, fellows, I think I know where to find Honeybell. We've got to go back to Matter Old McGovern's traveling circus. We need to find the Saint's Little Gang. Sorry, Rosie. We don't have time to go looking for Honeybell right now. We have to find the Saint's Little Gang and stop this war. But we know that whoever sold Honeybell to Matter Old McGovern must be in league with Tuco or Sally. Maybe we can find a new lead if we go there. Then it looks like the circus is our next destination. We can get there by taking the train to Bumblebee Junction. No, we're going to Swellsville. So I want to show one thing before we actually put a break in the video. And next time we actually will go to Bumblebee Junction and everything. It's just I want to go to Swellsville. So while I was looking around for leads on Tuco, if you notice Horace, the horseman up there, the guy who's walking through the train depot right now, I'll stop Soulsville. Please wait, watch your step. He's out of work now. That's a shame, right? If only there was someone who would hire him. Let's go have a word with him, you know? While the track is busted, my business business for my stage goes taxi service was bananas. Now it's fixed and everyone's taking the train again. Where can your stagecoach take us? Only anywhere you want to go. While well, the train is glued to the tracks and only stops at train stations, stagecoach driver like me can take you anywhere. He can even pick you up at your doorstep. That sounds convenient. How do we hire you? Tell you what, Sonny. Pay me a flat fee and you'll have my services for life. Just go to your farm upgrades and buy Horace Westbrook. And I'm going to look into doing that off camera. 
But anyway, here in Swellsville, we're going to put a break in the video, and we'll pick up here next time before we go to Bellamy Junction. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.